Richard McAvoy! Hello. All right, let's have a little three-way, shall we? Okay, give me an A. A. Give me a D. D. Give me an H. A. Give me the D. D. What have you got? A. Okay, I'm bored of that now. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be talking to you about my life with hidden disabilities. Um, so, give me an E. e. Give me a P. P. Okay, no, I'm only joking. So, I'm going to tell you about my life with epilepsy. So, uh, no strobe lights right now, please. No flash photography, you know, don't want to do an accidental stage dive. You know, some of you don't look particularly um, clean. Um, so, some of you might be able to see that my hands are shaking. And that, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, that's not actually because of just nerves. It's one of the side effects of the medication that I take. And, you know, it's quite annoying. It gets in the way of a lot of things. I'm sure you can understand, but it does mean I give great hand jobs. <laughs> I could sell a line of vibrators, I'm sure. But um, the other thing I struggle with is my memory. So I forget where I've put things. I forget things from my education. I forget jokes I've written. I forget what time I'm supposed to start what? <laughs> Fuck, okay. Uh, we'll have to deal with that uh, tomorrow. Um, so some, uh, I mean, those things get me down a bit as well. And you know, another thing recently that's been getting me down is I recently turned 30 and um, I've been, <laughs> okay. Uh, I've been putting on a bit of weight and I think it's something to do with maybe exploring my Irish heritage. Um, so basically it's because I've been eating too many potatoes, uh, drinking too much, and just not shagging enough of my cousins to burn off any of the calories. <laughs> so. But now that I'm in my 30s, that I've turned 30 and I've now decided I'm trying to act like I am 20. Um, and as a result of this, I've developed something called ADS. Um, some of you might be able to relate, I think you have it, but um, it's called accidental drunk syndrome. Uh, so, you know, you know how it works. You, you finish work, you go to the pub, there's a beautiful glass of crisp house wine waiting for you. You go, you go and see your mate, you haven't seen them in ages, probably the day before. Um, and next thing you know, you're waking up, uh, you know, fully clothed with a toilet brush on your chest or walking around a children's hospice at 2am in just your boxer shorts. <laughs> I feel like I should explain that. Um, so uh, a few years ago, I was living with my parents and uh, to add to my list of quotes, it transpires that I went sleepwalking. And so, you know, apparently what happened was I left the house, walked up through the park, uh, climbed over the fence into this children's hospice. And the first thing I remember is looking through a window and, you know, seeing a nurse screaming, you know, like, who are you? Who are you? And so I start running through the car park. Uh, she comes out, she puts a blanket around me, takes me into reception. And the security guard is like, well, you know, we've got to call the police. Um, police arrive, you know, uh, put me in the car. They don't arrest me because I like to think I'm a bit more charming than Philip Schofield. But um, uh, they take me home and they say, you wait in the car, you know, we'll go and wake up your parents. So, you know, my mum gets a knock on the door, boom, boom, boom. Are you Richard McAvoy's parents? Uh, yeah. And she just sees her liability of a child, you know, walking up the driveway and a Finding Nemo blanket. Um, it was the next day that they double bolted the locks to my door. Um, so if any of you are lucky, uh, you might get a guy in his box shorts uh, on your doorstep sometime soon. I mean, I've still got the blanket if you're into that. Um, but it's probably just something to do with the ADS. Thanks, guys. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay, I've just remembered my memory joke. Right. Um, uh, <laughs> fuck it. 